Hey guys, hope y'all doing good today. So I know it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, sorry about that. I've actually been working on a website with a couple other people. It's called CryptoScripts. Now it's not out yet, but this is my new website. Uh, we're going to be selling trading indicators. And again, it's me and a slew of other professional traders. And I also have a Twitter account here at CryptoScripts1. If you're not following it, this is going to be the main account. But as you can see, it actually called this recent rise in price for Ethereum. You can see the new indicators. Uh, I have a couple more besides these that we're providing. So again, stay tuned for that when the website launches. But definitely follow CryptoScripts1 if you haven't. And then again, myself at the Crypto Data as well. But this video is going to be jam-packed. And basically, I'm going to go over everything that's been happening over the past couple of weeks to get you up to date. And as well as anyone that hasn't really been keeping track. Because again, crypto hasn't been that exciting until recently. So real quick, let's just go over a couple things. Now, remember the whole thing from Binance and the SEC? Whenever Binance was suing Coinbase, or sorry, the SEC was suing Coinbase and Binance, basically saying they were offering a lot of unregistered securities, etc., etc. Well, long story short, the judge found no evidence of that through Binance. Um, and the SEC was trying to freeze customers' funds, but that didn't happen. And so it was a win for Binance. And then recently actually bitget if any of y'all know them uh, they are known for offering leverage trading kind of similar to bybit they started doing kyc and are not allowing us customers to register as of july 15th they'll no longer be able to access your bitget account so please if you're a us customer get out of bitget now because uh, you will not be able to access your account after that and then now there's some big news everyone's talking about is BlackRock and applying for that Bitcoin ETF, okay? So again, when the SEC was dealing with Coinbase and Binance, basically trying to shut them down or at least freeze customers' assets and you know make it as tough as possible for them, BlackRock came out of nowhere and applied for a spot Bitcoin ETF, which stopped the SEC in their tracks because anyone who knows BlackRock knows they are one of the largest institutions with nearly $10 trillion dollars assets under management and they control everything around the world okay so you can see here after blackrock applied for that bitcoin etf a slew of other companies have applied for it over the past couple of days now a big reason why this is so imperative is because you can see here eric balchuna says blackrock's record of getting etfs approved by the sec is 575 to 1 okay that's another reason this is so big they don't play around so that tells you again they have a lot of pool and that's actually why I posted another video recently. This came out today and it said, Just in, BlackRock Recruiter says politicians are easy to buy and war is good for business. So basically, this is a recruiter for BlackRock and he is talking to a lady that's actually an undercover reporter. And he's telling her all kinds of stuff of how they control all these companies, they bribe people, they control the politicians, everyone's easy to buy, etc, etc. So long story short, like I said, BlackRock controls the world. And them getting involved in Bitcoin right now is huge. And that's why in crypto, everything is pumping today. So again, will this last? We'll have to see. But this is one of the biggest things here that is causing the recent pump. And just a slew of ETFs from all kinds of other companies and institutions. So keep an eye on that and what's going to happen with this. And then last but not least, there's also an EDX platform. So you can see digital asset platform EDX markets begin trading and completes new funding round now this was big uh, because basically i'm gonna go over here to twitter again and you can see here cz binance put impeccable timing but the more the merrier and he's talking about you know this exchange recently launched while he's getting sued by the sec and there's all kinds of fud in the market and now since blackrock applied for the bitcoin etf everything is turning around and you see here crypto exchange backed by citadel securities fidelity schwab starts operation and this is the edx market account this is the trading website here so it says the future of digital asset trading and basically there's a lot of other resources here i'll be honest i haven't looked through all of this yet but again you know it just goes to show you that things are starting to take a turn to the upside for crypto at least as more people are getting involved and you'll start seeing more of that stock market influence that clientele from that side of the trade five start coming into crypto now. So it's gonna be very interesting to see um, with this recent development. And again, with the Bitcoin ETF and everything going on with that. So hope this video, hope you liked it. And I'll be able to provide a lot of information for y'all. Again, sorry for being gone for so long. Try not to do that again. 
I'm just really working on this website with a couple other people and trying to make this the best crypto indicator website around. So please, please, please stay tuned for that. Aiming for the end of July, beginning of August. Again, follow CryptoScripts1 if you haven't on Twitter, as well as follow myself at the Crypto Data. I'll post updates as soon as I get them and try to keep y'all updated in the market uh, because, as you know, there's always stuff going on in crypto. So with that, if you like the video, please, guys, give it a like. Please subscribe if you haven't, and please comment if you could. I'd really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for the support. Again, feels good to be back. Let's make some money. Till next time.